it's a nice afternoon, 12 o'clock, and QPR take on Leeds United in the championship at Loftus Road. Leeds United, of course, have got the great Rob Green in goal. Of course, formerly of QPR. QPR with a few new signings. Bidwell. And I forgot who the other one is. Or will... Ah, Cousins another one. More of the same. And the new goalkeeper in Smithy. In goal. And... As I said, for Leeds Green coming in. And nothing from their new player they signed from Oxford. So who's going to win? <sighs> Will we get another epic 4-3? I think QPR are going to kick off. Though as well, which could play a part full capacity in this game. Here at Loftus so Leeds United, another change of head coach, Gary Monk treads where others have fallen. Will Gary Monk survive long enough in the championship? He has walked into the most unstable job in football right now. The impossible job, hoping to make things possible. There's a new feel about Queen's Park Rangers, the lavish spending is over. But they're going a different way about things. The aim's the same though, promotion. And we've got two clubs here this afternoon, both finished mid-table last season and they're two clubs that I don't really QPR think QPR going for an old style of kick the old they gonna be? Adidas kicks with Guinness are they going to be in the middle or are they going to be in the bottom at the moment remember them from 1988 this is one of the new faces of Queen's Park Rangers Jake Bidwell who moved a mile or two up the road from Brentford this summer that's Shadipo making his debut for Queen's Park Rangers the teenage winger and now Chris Wood for Leeds United. There's Ben Gladwin. Looking to really get his Queen's Park Rangers career up and firing. There's no question he does possess ability, Ben Gladwin, but struggled to settle here last season. QPR attacking the school end. Shadipo. Hilton was waiting in the middle. Bamba taking charge for Leeds United. Gladwin again. Tall figure who is. Got the ball down on the right near man, the man, South Glenn, Africa stand. Uh, Gladwin blocked on. You said it's maybe about decision making, which cost him last yeah. season. Well, it is about decision making. I remember watching him at Swindon in the playoffs, and he was outstanding. He had a wonderful season, and that is the reason that Queens Park Rangers purchased him. But the one thing that stood out for me was. When he made the right decisions, he looked like a world beater, but too often he made wrong decisions and gave the ball away in areas that he probably shouldn't have done. And back in favour though, and that's the main thing for him, he's got an opportunity. Leeds United with a throw in. QPR with a new badge this year. Chris Wood, the inevitable target here. Stone badge. Looking to steer clear of injuries this coming campaign. Had hamstring trouble in the last season, which affected him. Bamber in charge. This is Hall. And now Shadipo. Shadipo, number 27 for QPR, running it down well. the left. Lovely bowling. Could this be 1 0 QPR? Char and Cherry. Oh, good bit of defending there from Leeds United. Yeah, started well, Queen's Park Rangers. They're on the front foot. They're pushing Leeds United back. Sherry there, finding a bit of space. Good goal scoring record. He's trying to square that. QPR have certainly Leeds woken up quite an early this morning. They're right up for this afternoon kickoff. And that ball's ball. not on the air. Um, D. He wasn't getting the away with that. But his first test of the season. Well referee. Oh, QPR with the corner on the left. It comes the in. Uh, it's a goal, it's a goal. It's a, 
assistant referee Blacks to say yes. Yes, it's a one nil to QPR. Goes sprinting away, claiming the goal. But Leeds United and Rob Green on his return to Loftus Road in all kinds of trouble there. And Queen's Park Rangers cashed in. Well, first of all, the delivery from the corner is excellent. Lots of runners attacking the ball. Leeds United lose players. I think it's Walker at the far post. Turns the ball towards. Don't know who is actually scored for QPR. Wild scramble. Everybody attacking the ball for QPR. Leeds not clearing their lines. Green unable to clear it. Can't get the contact. I don't have a goal scorer. Uh, could be a known goal. I haven't got a clue who scored. And it just rolls agonisingly for him down and onto Nedermanua and dribbles over the line. It's a scrappy goal, isn't it? It's a scrappy goal, but they all count. A scrappy goal, but a thing of beauty for Nedermanua and Queen's Park Rangers. Inor scores the first goal of the season for the QPR cherry, and opens the, the score in here at Loftus Road after just three minutes and 26 Gary, seconds. Five minutes in, sloppy defending. And Leeds United now on the back foot. And you've got to learn the lessons of last year. Even though Gary Monk wasn't the coach, Leeds eight clean sheets. There was only one team with fewer clean sheets than that. He won't be overly thrilled. He didn't deal with it. It was an awkward ball. Leeds United as a defence, as well as the goalkeeper, didn't deal with it, and paid the price for that. And they were looking to hold off Chris Wood. And they were doing his day job after claiming the goal at the other end. Yeah, does he get the last touch? I mean, it's scrappy, it doesn't really yeah, matter, but well, as it very scrappy, there, poor defending from Leeds. He's under pressure, there's Rich bodies off. everywhere, and he probably flaps I it. I think Green well, should have saved it, should be able side. to gather that. Paul that is Green. the final contact. Nedermanua's left thigh. Keep your eye on the number five there. Mm. Oh, does it? Actually. Maybe not then. Maybe not. It doesn't really matter, but that may well be an own goal. Keep you on the attack again. But it was play play the positive start the play here the goal. positive the start from QPR they? and one thing that was really noticeable is they were getting the ball out wide Gladwin put a cross in Ooh, they've used the wide plays Sadipo very well so far in. Queens Park Rangers Cherry had put a cross in They're trying to get quality delivery into that penalty area they really feel that Poulter um, can be a handful number 7 to the right for QPR Here can he do anything to to show his strength up against Sol Bamba who wins that particular Bamba duel? Doing quite well there for Leeds. But Leeds have oh, they play back to Green. He boots it out. So Leeds United the need to compose themselves here. We know what Gary Monk wants from Leeds. He wants them to keep the Leeds ball. Leeds United have the did Leeds United have a late one last night. Game and they haven't <laughs> had any so far in these opening exchanges. They've been out on the town seeing the sights and the sights of Soho in the early hours. Got the other game at 12 o'clock. Well, the good news for Leeds, if you're a Leeds fan, is that it's an early goal and that gives you lots and lots of time to try and work your way back into this game. And they did that quite successfully on many occasions last season. They had a good record when they conceded first. They dug deep, showed a bit of character, and got quite a few points out of games. Chris Wood. Leeds now passing the ball around. This is Bartley. Barardi. Because of Barardi on the. Ooh, could have been. Kamal Rufu made the dash in from that far side. The Rufi win a corner. It's a corner. It's an aerial duel between the him and Adam Manua. We have a case for a corner there. Adam Manua putting it out. It wasn't just about his goals corner. last season, of which he scored 26, which is a phenomenal amount. League to 11 of the well. year last season. A player that was prepared to leave the Premier League, dropped down to the bottom division, trying to ignite his career. Ruthie signed his from Oxford up. United. He'd been given as a goal kick to QPR. I was sure that was corner to Leeds United. I believe he can play at this level. I really do. Few balloons on the pitch. And 
the atmosphere does feel a bit low key. It is. It's only afternoon. It could be that a lot of the supporters have just woken up. Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank has had a summer to make his mark on this club. He hasn't managed to sign everyone that he wanted. He's made some good signings. Like Queen's Park Rangers would spend big fees, giving out big contracts to try and get into the Premier League. Oh, some big, there's some big teams in the Championship this the year. Queen's Park Rangers is that when they do come. Villa and Newcastle, the Norwich had a massive four-one win at Blackburn. To play that game. Of course, Sheffield Wednesday and Aston Villa play this afternoon at 4:30. Financial boundaries, haven't they, Queens Park Rangers? They've had to. He had to come in and really work and try and. Derby County hoping to go on massive, massive money. One better. Shopping at a more realistic level for Tony Fernandez in terms of Championship spending. Don't get me wrong. I think there's still 20 million pounds worth of talent out there in the the blue and white hoop, so not to be sniffed at. Oh, Chelsea for Leeds, bringing it up. linking up with Chris Wood. Roof tried to hold his run on that far side. Can we find somebody Yagaraga. out on Standing the right? Strong. Getting the better of Gladwin. Glad Can you get that cross in, in the box? Uh, it's playing it all the way back. And they've got to bring it forward again. Bamba, Long looking for ball. Dallas. Out on the left side to Stuart Dallas, the Northern Ireland international. Oh, a lot of passing yeah, around. Over to the Charlie right Taylor. side. There's a ball coming in. Yes, that'll be a corner. Definitely a corner in, this time. That's his first real foray into Queen's Park Rangers territory. And he's a very, very attack-minded fullback. And United need more of that. Well, they have the threat here of Bamba. So Leeds United have their first corner Kyle of Bartley the game. Kyle Bartley in and around that six-yard area as well. He hasn't scored for Is a couple of years. Is this going to be the try and make an impact here. And the referee will have to keep his eyes firmly fixed on what goes on at that near post. So here comes the corner for Leeds. Leeds. Well, it goes towards that near post. It's that with by and Henry. it's headed out by QPR. But Leeds now got the ball. There's Berardi. A long ball played up. And that'll be a goal kick. Right idea. Slightly over hit. Well, his team were on the back foot when they conceded that scrappy goal. Well, he hasn't quite settled as well as he would have hoped in terms of retaining the ball more than anything. Oh, it's Just a head coach and team Rangers manager are the same the things. Traps. Their rapid pace. I hope that Mr. Cellino has seen the recipe for success in the championship. Look at Burnley, and look at Hull, and look at Middlesbrough last season, all with managers that had plenty of time at the club and were allowed to implement their own. QPR plans. now back in possession. The for success. Yeah, fortunately, Leeds don't really give time to Gilipo, their managers. Trying to step so. away from Stuart Dallas. Gary Monk is definitely in a hot seat. Or to be more precise, he's in an ejector seat. You mentioned uh, Gary Monk there, Don. I spoke to him yesterday and he, he said simply he had no other alternative than to take the Leeds United job. Once Leeds come knocking, he knows the past, he knows what's gone on under, under Massimo Cellino. He hopes to convince him that he is the one for him, but he knows yeah. he has to hit the ground running and win games. But you, you would still think that Gary Monk received certain assurances. Gary Monk is more than capable of getting Leeds United back in the Premiership. It might not be this season. Give him time and he well. will so, do the job. There's no question. It is an enormous football club. and Sometimes the term sleeping giant is maybe overused a fraction, but... Leeds United certainly fall into but Leeds United are a sleeping giant. A lot of turmoil. Ellen Road, one of the best grounds in England. It's Luongo. 
does enjoy playing in this deeper position, Massimo Morongo. Well, you've never been to Ellen Road. Road. Give that place a visit. Out of the Queen's Park Rangers last it will season. blow your mind. The ball back with QPR. Henry, Anything looking for Cherry. Here? But they've got the ball out on the right. Yes, they get that ball in. Cherry trying to trick his way inside that penalty area, but tackle well by Charlie Taylor. That's why Leeds United oh, well are done, looking Charlie to sell him. Taylor. Good tackle. Back in by Gladwin. And Bamba in charge for Leeds. Well done, Bamba. Better defending from Leeds United. This is Hall. It's been a good opening 15 minutes this by Queen's Park Rangers. Until that moment there. Commentators Quite curse. into the Leeds United Very supporters. early in the season. Well done, Gary. Thank you very much. Well, he'll be pleased with his team start and he won't actually care whether it goes to Neda Manua or whether it goes to Sol Bamba but we've had all the angles, slow motion, everything it's inconclusive really as it goes up in the yeah, air who scored QPR's first does goal? Is it an own goal? It, does, it comes off his shoulder and does it hit Bamba before it actually goes over the line or is it already is over it the line? Bamba it's very, very dubious, is it a Bamba goal? Is it an Anora goal? Sol Bamba <laughs> probably doesn't want it Neda Manua does no, I don't think Bamba does want that goal. He'll well, be quite happy for a Norway to take Rangers that goal. One to nil here. I've never known a player in my life who wants to claim an own goal. <laughs> I can hear the Leeds United fans. They've come Mark alive. Above Polter. That's Massimo Luongo. Bidwell. <sighs> has been a, a brutal pre-season for Queen's Park Rangers in terms of the work they've done. Jimmy Floyd the right. says he has seen his players and suffer. Be a, a little chuckle in his voice when he said that to me. He enjoys seeing his players suffer in pre-season, but it's a high-pressing game he wants to yeah. play more often than not, and they have to be fit. They do. I think that was one of the things which stood out to him when he arrived from Burton Albion. He didn't think that... Queen's Park Rangers players were Jimmy fit enough, Floyd Hasselbank enough, did a magnificent job that. And this fella at here, Burton position. I'm sure he's got a bit of physical work to do to catch up with the rest. And he's hoping to get QPR back into the Premiership. He helped Mets win promotion to the top division in France last season. So Queen's Park Rangers hoping he can repeat the feat here. Getting them to English football's top division. Keep the trying to hold the ball there Polter in the standing his ground. And he wins a throw in. There's Carl Henry. Shadipo trying to move the ball around the corner. Was impeded by Dallas. That's a really silly free, free kick, kick to give to away. Particularly when you've already conceded from one set piece. Your team... Under unnecessary pressure there, Stuart Dallas it was with a challenge. No, I don't think the referee's going to take the free kick. <laughs> no, Rob Green didn't particularly cover himself in glory with the corner kick from which Queen's Park Rangers profited. And he has Queen's Park Rangers' bodies bearing down on him again. I think Rob Green wants to forget that um, goal that was conceded, but he go Kupia with the free kick. And Green this time gets to it. Oh, Green punches it out for a throw in. This oh, is he doesn't Kamara. go out for a throw in, but Leeds clear their lines. And now go all the way back to the QPR keeper. And QPR back on the attack down the left. Should Here's the 19 year old, Olamai Chilipo. Oh, that was good. That came to nothing. I knew it. Not Neda Manua's favourite position, that right back spot, but that's where he burst through at Manchester City because of his pace. First to play in the centre half position, Anua. Are trying to find the no for the Looking second goal. Find the run a bit well. Won't find it like that, and that'll be a throw in the QPR. Really well the Park Rangers. At the moment, Leeds United just can't get a foothold in this game. In boxing terms, they've barely laid a glove 
on the home team. Leeds seem a bit asleep at the moment. Most part Rangers looking the sharper right now. Bartley intervening. Drops here to Luongo. Henry. Gladwin. Now Anua. No with a cross in the box. No. He just passes it Luongo. along. Now it's out. On the right wing. Chidipo. Berardi. What can Chidipo do? Cross and cross green. In. Oh, to Green to should have caught that. But lucky for Leeds that went straight to the away end. And fair play. Couldn't keep the ball down. A lucky escape. One straight out, but he's prepared to go on his left foot. It's a good cross. It's got Rob Green. Oh, that is poor from Rob Full Green. He's having look. a bit of a nightmare. Really keeper. That, they are pushing Leeds back. They are looking for a second goal. Don't worry, Leeds haven't dominance. lost it yet. A little bit more comfortable. Plenty of well, that time. Is something that Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank felt was lacking from Queen's Park Rangers last season. He says maybe they were a little bit too timid in trying to hunt a, a second goal and would try and sit on their lead, and that would cost them when they'd end up drawing the matches. No team in England drew more than Queen's Park Rangers last season. Yeah, it was usually from winning maybe Leeds United well, need a few energy drinks and a few cups away. of coffee. From winning positions. They look very sleepy. Said, there highlights that. Got throwing. There's Bartley. Well, they got out on the um, left. A threat end. From left back on that far side. There's no one there. This transfer request was turned down last week. Uh, Leeds just playing the ball on the other side. That's Vieira. Not sure what Leeds are doing here. A lot of passing and back to Green. Green the moment, boosts the ball out the and QPR do an overhead kick. Since New Year's Day when he and that is going to be a goal kick. The being, they didn't want him to make the 30 games in his yeah. contract and then get a new contract here. In his defence, you know, it was awkward. High ball dropping in a massive crowd of bodies. It wasn't easy. Nevertheless, he'll still probably feel that he could have done a little better. Well, Leeds United are being forced into an early change here. It's already making a substitution. It's uh, Berardi who's going off. And the man to come on in his place is Louis Coyle, the youngster. So Berardi is off the pitch. Louis Coyle, number 31. straight 30 down the one. tunnel. Now, you'd assume that would be an injury. No, nothing this early about in the game. Him. I'm not too sure with, by the way he reacted there, Don, unless he's frustrated he has picked up an injury on opening weekend. Well, I'm sure we'll try and get some information about that. If it is tactical, it's unusual, isn't it, to make a tactical change 22 minutes into a game. Well, can Leeds make an attack happen? And that's poor. But they win a throw. So Louis Coyle, the 20 year old, is on. Big Leeds United fan, another who's come through the academy at Ellen Road. They played the final handful of games last season. Leeds passing the ball all the way He's back. Now up against Shadipo, who's seen plenty of the ball in the first. And they lost the cheap lead. Here go QPR. Cherry. Uh, don't know who that was to. And Rob Green gives away a throw into no QPR. Hard on pitches, he looks nervous. No in football. <laughs> He's not on the ball today, Rob Green. Sharon Cherry. There's Luongo. Now Bidwell. On the left. His left hand side has been profitable so far for Queen's Park Rangers. In. QPR should really be getting those crosses in as close as they can to Rob Longer. Green. They would be the tactics for QPR. This is Hall. Now Anua. Now Sherry. Oh, they've lost it. 
Now can lead Tom Foley. Losing the midfield battle. Queens Park Rangers are dominating them so far. Leeds need to get in there off the pitch. Out there, who's barely touched the ball? Matt Grimes. I remember mentioning his name yet? Too bad. This Wood. Leeds United slowly coming forward. Stuart Dallas finding Coyle. And the ball's gone back in their own half. Leeds going to have to do it all over again. Ronaldo Vieira and Matt Grimes in that central well, area. One of three kicks Taylor. Leeds. Caught. On the, the right. Card is on the way for ben Gladwin. And the referee's going to produce the first yellow card of the game. I'm sure Ben Gladwin didn't want that, but he got it anyway. Well, a chance maybe here for Leeds United to try and lay a glove on Queen's Park Rangers. Sure well, a good delivery is needed. Straight in the box. In area Tess, to get the, delivery. the QPR goalkeeper. He might just be as dodgy as Rob Green, you never know. This Chris could Wood, be the Bamba. first test. Kyle Bartley amongst those in the mix for Leeds United. Alex Smithy's making sure that he has a bit of room from the right to try side. And gather the ball here. It comes his way. And um, that is poor. Waste from Leeds United. I don't think his main target was to hit the Gingsters Cornish Pasties advert. Well, I'm not too sure which dance is the best dance when uh, the camera's on Massimo Cellino in terms of what he's thinking about the uh, the game unfolding in front of him. There's no question he wants Leeds United to win. He wants promotion to the Premier League. But uh, the way that Does he? happened at Ellen he Road wants in the last promotion couple of years, for Leeds. Made it one Talk of the most the football right now. Well, he hasn't helped the cause, I think that's fair to say, with his decision making. But we begin again, we go again. It'd be your degree state rules. We don't want promotion to the Premiership. We want to spend another eight seasons in the Championship. Sure or possibly a relegation to League One. <laughs> An odd statement there from the commentators. Coyle. Well, Kamar Ruth and Stuart Dallas have swapped sides. That's the first thing that Gary Monk did. United played the bowl up. That's found nobody. This game. We'll wait to hear about QPR. Long bowl it and it's a throw into the QPR. Yeah, reminder that Gaetano Barardi was substituted a Not few moments ago. Not the greatest in the world, I must reacted say. Reacted angrily as he made his way down the tunnel. Still not as bad as Fulham v Newcastle on Friday injury. night. Meanwhile, referee intervening between Poulter and Bartley. It's a brave man, Holly Langford. And he falls over. And you're not going to get a penalty for just falling down. Well, I think it was outside the penalty area. And secondly, I'd, I think when a player exaggerates a fall, referees are more inclined now not to give the infringement. And that was an exaggerated fall. I think that's the case for staying your feet. He might have scored. QPR with a long hoof up. Exit on, oh, not going to do He's much. Oh, I can't. Who can finish? No question about that. We've seen that before. Not able to keep and it down. That went time. a little bit wide. Me thinks a new football is needed. Inside is outside the penalty oh, area. Get up. Never ever will you can get a penalty for that. Tangle of legs. Well, he could have easily have stayed his on his actually. feet. The thing that made and him took a shot Not a foul. Nice touch from Polter to try and get Ooh. the one go away, but yeah, Coyle Paul not going nowhere. The get the ball in. Partly in the way that time. He couldn't the find anyone. Getting the ball out wide and trying to hit Leeds with crosses. And Leeds clear it out for a I throw in. Shadipo, you know, what I like is that he's probably played as many crosses in with his left foot, which is his weaker foot, as he has 
with his right. And that will always ask a question of a fullback. Bidwell with the throw in. Oh, it could have been a chance there for QPR, but he was just missed. The air is clearance. Ricocheting back across goal and striking the post. That was going in. This now is Gladwin. Here go, there go. Not even close. QPR still with the ball. Long ball. Coil with a header away. No one. Throwing the QPR. Stand strong, dig deep. Leeds United, they're on the ropes here. First of all, Shane gets in behind way too easy, and then as Vieira clears the ball, it hits him. Post. The term could have gone anywhere, it very nearly did go in the worst possible place for Leeds. Just now, I suppose, lucky for Leeds, it, there was nobody there for QPR and to knock it straight Leeds into an state. empty net. I can't actually remember their attempt. QPR with so far, three shots on target. Been very redundant. It's a loose ball from Vieira, but Grimes getting to it for Leeds United. There's Kamar Roof. Can he provide the spark here? Well, there's the answer for now. No. And he just pushes the QPR the player over. So far, but maybe one concern ridiculous. will be that they haven't got the second goal. That's a cheap free kick to give away. You see it time and time again in football, don't you? In his own Team half. Dominating. Only the level or have only got a one goal advantage. And it only takes one moment. Take it all away from you. He's fully aware of that. A man who knows Leeds United through and through. Jimmy Floyd has been linked to the manager's job several times. He's come up several times recently. But he's never had to be being close to taking that job. Can keep your lunch in. They're playing it back. Out on the left side, but he can't control it. Is it a free kick to Leeds or QPR? And someone's getting yeah, bored. Well, was that for the foul or maybe the reaction? No, that can only possibly be for the reaction. And first of all, I'm not sure it's a foul, but it's the reaction of Bidwell. Just that. That reaction, I think the football authorities are trying to clamp down on reactions towards and directed at referees, and it's soft in so many ways, isn't it? But the standard has been set. Big now, should have been Mr. Langford has that. to book everybody that does Who's something like that. that kind of but you're right, Don, there has been uh, a clamping down of it. We'll see plenty of yellows, maybe reds, this first few months of the season. The players have been written to. The managers have That's been spoken to one. by Mike Riley at meetings to say there will be this Another clamping down one, uh, on negative behaviour towards officials. New rules. That there, that Jake Bidwell, that is just a normal reaction to a decision that you feel has been got Yeah, wrong. exactly. Any player no way. throughout generations that a yellow generations card? will do that. Anyway, Leeds. Oh, Trying to try here for Queen's Ball Rangers. Now for QPR. Looking for Sherry. Can Sherry do anything? Trying to pick Just plays it short. Immense pressure from Kamar Roof. Managed to step away it. from him, but Charlie Leeds Taylor once again. Out. Proving what a fine defender he can be. One back superbly oh, done by Luongo. He's trying to get the better of Vieira, who wins that tussle. Queen's Ball Rangers, though, are coming back at Leeds United. No respite for the men from Ellen Road right now. And that's because every time they get it, they give it away cheaply. That is the problem that's for true. Leeds United at the moment. It's like Leeds United need to go in at half time and wake up. That's Bidwell. Now oh, Stuart Dallas. Bidwell snaps him with that challenge. This is Grimes. It's gone to nobody. Not in the yeah, best of games so far on my side. The territory. They're also dominating the ball, and that is in contrast to last season. Keep yard the down the left. Teams have the lowest amount of possession last season. You're going to shoot. No, he can't Carl shoot Henry. from there. Ball in the box from Manor. No. 
Luongo. Too much on it for Potter. And that is on for play. Goal kick to Leeds United. Well, the Capital One Cup gets underway this coming week. Luton Town against Aston Villa Wednesday, 7.30 Sky How many Sports Villa fans are going to tell to a beautiful Kenilworth Road? Kenilworth Road. The English Football League Cup continues on Thursday, 7.30. Bristol Rovers versus Cardiff City, Sky Sports 1. Bit of a derby there, Bristol Rovers v Cardiff. A big derby to come in Bristol on Thursday night in the EFL Cup. I didn't really say milk cup then, Don. <laughs> There's Henry. Leeds losing that throw oh, very cheaply. Who on his day is a real talent. Just looking for a little bit more consistency in his game. There's a chance now for QPR if they can get this the ball well. in. They do, by but Bartley. Leeds easily get that away. Like Leeds do something. So good it's throw Coyle. ball, Nicely good control. Who well, hasn't had too much to go at oh. so far in this game? That's the oh, it's a, a good nice ball, ball now on the right. From Leeds United. Oh, oh that's not a good cross. But can Leeds retrieve oh, it? Keep it alive. No, they win the throw in. That was the first real bit of quality passing that Cole. Leeds have produced. Cole now with the ball in. Lovely, yeah, that is a little bit deep. Not only really controlled there, but Leeds keep possession. Oh, that's not good. Now Roof. That's the superbly named Ronaldo Vieira. It back. have to be a good player with a name like that. Good strength from Bartley. Bamba. Oh, it's a good bowl now. Chancy for Leeds. It's on the right. A good bowl in. And it's headed out by QPR. Good defending. So it was a bit there, better from table, Leeds. In good position, but this is much better from Leeds United. QPL win it. They got a chance to make it 2 0. Oh, he should have taken it. Oh, he did the post. It was almost perfect on the counter attack from Queen's Park Rangers. There were options there as well. That was close for QPR. Good counter attacking. And the width of the post. Away from increasing this lead. Rod Green trying to calm it down. Neda Manua there. He's got Poulter who goes one way. Good he's ball left, Manua. The other way. Poulter does well. You think his chance oh, is gone. Good play. Works it well. Clever little reverse shot. Just reverses it a fraction too much. Oh, that's Needs to escape lucky. again. Been a handful, an absolute handful. Well, we said that uh, he had to turn things around last season, Sebastian Polter. There were times last season when Queen's Park Rangers played with no striker at all rather than turn to him. That's how far down the pecking order he was, but now one of the main men here at Loftus Road. Leeds United got the ball in their own area. He's learned how to use his they bring it He's forward. A unit. He didn't particularly in the early days use oh, like that, that physicality. Like that. He certainly back. learned how to use it now, and he's mobile. He runs. Only thing missing. Uh, Leeds can't keep, a little bit of ruthlessness can't keep possession, the but they like won a throw in. Starts gobbling them up. Going to be a real player. No goals in his last eight games for Sebastian Polter. Hitting the post there. The inches of making it 2 0 to Queen's Park Rangers. QPR supporters have woken up. Making some noise. The Legion United supporters always in fine voice. First proper day at the office 
not going to plan at the moment. It's still only 1-0 down. There's the positive. You've got to look for positives where you can. And if Leeds can get also, into the Gary dressing Monk room... Also, Gary Monk the positives and the negatives. This could be his line. final game for Leeds. He could get a, he could get a sack in the morning. He could players at half-time. And that he said, kicking the ball away. So leads with possession out on the right. That's Taylor. And they're going to play it all the way back. All the way back to their dodgy keeper who boots it out. Well, at least he kept it in Colter. play this time. I suppose He's that's been a positive. Of a Queen's Park Rangers. The big earners that Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank wants to keep here. Chris Wood, who did play alongside Kamar Roof in the youth teams at West Bromwich Albion, so those two do know each other's games inside out. Shadipo. Can't see the QPR. Good contest between the two there, Louis Coyle and Olamide Shadipo, who is. Only really got the fans buzzing around here today. Yeah, I like the look of him. A good win here last weekend, didn't they? Against Premier League Watford. And whilst it counts for nothing in terms of points. So only pre season friendly. Certainly a confidence booster when you beat a team from a level above you. So we go Lee Zen on the attack, and that's going to be straight at the um, keeper for QPR. Who gathers that? No worries. A long hoof up field. Yagaraga trying to take charge of Polter this time. And he leads. And that'll go out for throwing the QPR. A bit of a waste. And here go QPR down the right. Barkley stepping out, trying to hold off Shadipo. Yeah, it's a goal kick. Bartley not too impressed by some of the defending of his teammates. This yeah, game's going to be a bit scrappy over all over heads. the show. Be concentrating. These two did finish side by side in the championship table last season. Queen's Park Rangers 12th, Leeds United one place behind them. Both with a lot of ground to make up if they're to turn that around and make the playoffs this coming season. This is Dallas. Please. No, Dallas not going anywhere. But Leeds get the throw in. Quick, quickly in, but it's been played back again. Leeds needing to get that ball forward. That's Vieira. That's really Kamaru. become more of a threat in the final third, but again, not able. Run back by Ronaldo Vieira. There's a lot of excitement around Ellen Road about the 18-year-olds. Gary Monk has taken a shine to him from the off. They're going sharply on Taylor. There's Bartley. Now the early substitute, Louis Coyle. Chris Wood. Uh, Leeds have lost it. I think we're going to get another arms out there, Chris Wood. He's saying, where's the support? I haven't got a pass on. I'm trying to hold the ball up. And there's been a massive creative spark missing from Leeds United. But there's an option, isn't it? And Alex Mowat. Yeah, maybe a surprise he's not starting in the number 10 role today for Leeds United, Alex Mowat. What can they produce from this? It's Charlie Alex Taylor. Bowen might be Chris a substitute. Could be a super sub in the second half. And that's their best Stuart moment yet. Dennis. Well, it's the best cross that Charlie that Taylor ball. has put in. It gives Chris Wood a chance to go Good and attack Stuart it. Stuart Dennis have done better there. Does. Picks the defenders off. Kidwell misreads the bounce, and there's Ooh. a little half chance. He's leading. Could have done better. At least get it on, on the angle. target. Gets it all wrong. You're not playing for the Leeds Rhinos. A little half chance for Leeds. <laughs> Improving his goal scoring is something he's looking to do, Stuart Dallas. 
And last season in a rich vein of form in front of goal with three goals in his last six games. He's had a, a busy old summer since then, playing for Northern Ireland at Euros and getting married too. But Leeds look to have steadied themselves as we head towards the break. Just the last three or four minutes. So Stuart Dennett's a tight to not to somebody. No name. I could look on Wikipedia and give you the full information on that, but I can't be bothered. First proper half time team talk it's as Leeds United head coach is on the way. And we may have a few things to say, Gary Monk. Can Leeds get a goal before half time? I think the biggest disappointment for him is the passing. He's a player. Oh, it looked like Kukal could make it 2 0 if they get the right pass. He's a chance. Oh. Deepo having to stretch. Stretch he did. Oh, he slipped. Well, that came to nothing. There's still a QPR. Plenty of space here for Oliver Oh, Shadipo. I'll take a shot. And it's come back That's out. Bidwell. Bidwell puts it into no man's land and leads on it. Oh, Run out for a goal kick. Indeed. I'm going to go for a minute of injury Doesn't time. Space. Being allowed to dominate the ball, dominate territory. And Gary Monk has to come up with a, a way of changing that scenario. Pep Clote there alongside him, who was his assistant at Swansea oh, City. James One Beattie there as well, who was part of the coaching staff at Swansea. It's not been the best of games, I must say. There's Ben Gladwin. Gary Monk will have a lot to Ronaldo do. Vieira. In the half-time team talk. Running into trouble. Vieira then with the chair. With the challenge. I'm sure Jimmy Bank Ford Hasselbank will want be better from QPR in, in, in the second half. Ben Gladwin goes to ground here. It's a good job he gets the ball, really, as the ball breaks here. That's he punches challenge. in there. And that is a That's dangerous not a challenge to challenge. make when you're on a yellow one card. One good challenge, one bad challenge. One additional minute is almost up. The referee's going to blow Queen's now. Rangers in charge at the break. It's been a difficult return to Loftus Road for Rob Green so far. Right, I'll be back for the second half. And it could be a better second half, hopefully. We're live again, nearly ready for the second half. Hoping for a better, better second half hopefully and who scored the first goal we still don't know was it Bamba or was it Inora the first goal score has yet to be confirmed I'm sure Gary Monk has Got Leeds fired up for the second half. Watching some lousy adverts at the moment. Of course, I'm watching a live stream on www.vip box live soccer. Just type in via VP, VIP box.com and you'll find the live streaming. And we're just ready to kick off for the second half. As you can see, you've got Hull and Leicester at 11.30, Bournemouth and Man United, 12.30, August the 14th. Super Sunday, Arsenal v Liverpool, that should be a good one. And August the 15th, a London derby, Monday night football, Chelsea versus West Ham. Who scored that goal? 
Is it an own goal? Is it a Nora's goal? Green had a nightmare in that first half. He's gonna look to improve. Bit of a dodgy keeper, no doubt about it. Uh, ready to kick off. The only disappointment from their point of view is that they haven't scored a second goal. Uh, the referee will uh, take that. order a retake here. It's now strange getting used to this, uh, just a one player standing around the ball. The ball no longer has to be moved into the opponent's half well, from a kickoff. Off for the second half. QPR already on the attack. Shidipo taken away off him by Diago Raga. Don, what do you think Gary Monk will be looking for? from his Leeds United players in this second half. What do you think is key points for the being at half time? Well, they've, they've got to be better in possession of the ball. Because if they're, if they're better in possession of the ball, I mean, they will move them forward. They should be able to move forward and up the pitch. And then I think the intensity as well is another thing. It's a lot more from the, the, the forward thinking players. Get The Kamar Roofs, your Chris Wood, the Stuart Dallas. I mean, we've barely seen Matt Grimes must be in danger at the first 15 minutes of, of being taken off really unfortunately on his well, debut what we have seen is plenty from Queen's Park Rangers defense. in that first half a one goal lead which we'll could well have been down. much much more here is Grimes and Grimes gives a throw in Sheffield Wednesday and Aston Villa will hopefully live up to the big, big games of the weekend. You're looking for some audio commentary on the Champions League. in front of the, uh, the main end. JB Claret. Of Loftus Road. You do you get the feeling that maybe Queen's Park Rangers have pinpointed Rob Green and crosses this afternoon? I mean, Chef it would have been easy to say that, wouldn't it, really? But I do think Jimmy has got a big fella in the middle there in Sebastian Poulter, who, if you've got somebody like that in the middle, you want to be getting crosses in anyway, don't you? It's like Leeds should be doing the same for Chris Wood, but clearly they haven't been allowed to do that by Queen's Park Rangers. So whether it was, you know, that they felt there might be a, a weakness in Rob Green and his ability to deal with crosses or not, not really sure, but one thing is for certain, Queen's Park Rangers have certainly been trying to get the ball into the penalty area as much as they can. Well, a chance for Leeds United now to get the ball in the box of their own as Matt Grimes picks himself up. chance for Leeds to get back in this game, get an equaliser. Last from usually when you're struggling a little bit to create chances, set piece can be a good avenue for you. Oh, the over the ball. Grimes and Dallas with eyes on it's this. Grimes and Dallas. And about 3,000 Leeds United fans it's packed inside Loftus for Road for this do. opening weekend. Could they score? Could they score this free kick? It's a chance. Very much looks like Matt Grimes, doesn't it? The way he's over the ball is the referee's halted proceedings. He's then walked back up and then walked away. Right with the free kick. It is Matt Grimes. Ooh, didn't quite dip enough. We saw when he was at Exeter City, he can deliver a lethal free kick. And look at the goalkeeper. Alex Smithies scrambling a bit, even though that's not in the top corner. Alex Smithies scrambles a little bit. Smithies Probably would have had that covered. Dip below the bar. Well, this season is when the parachute payments from the Premier League run out for Queen's Park Rangers. That is why they're going about the spending sensibly and hoping to be back in the big time by the time those payments come to an end 
clubs with parachute payments in this league have a £20 million head start on the rest. They, they couldn't sustain the level of spending. I mean, initially they were spending in order to stay in the Premier League. But Both needs. Obviously, that didn't stop them slipping into the Premier Championship. They've certainly had to streamline purchases, the levels of purchasing, the wage bill. Pollock at home there. has retained the captain's armband for Leeds this season. And it's full of admiration for the assistant referee. That was an area, wasn't it, Leeds? We conceded a lot of goals last season. This is a partnership. So Bamba, Kyle Bartley, it needs to be good, it needs to be strong. He's got all the experience in the world, he's a top player. And this young man is a man abundance of talent who's never really settled at a club and now is the time for Kyle Bartley to show everybody what a real good player he is and that's what Gary Monk will be hoping they've played alongside each other for a couple of games at Swansea City Gary Monk and Kyle Bartley there's Kamar Roof nice link of play with Woods but seen off in the end by a combination of Neda Manua and Kolka chance to run here for Sherry Past a few players, no, the stop. A good pass. Luongo. Out on the right. This now is Bidwell. There's Grant Hall, who arrived at Queen's Park Rangers as a backup defender. He was pretty much the main man at the back last season. Neda Manua. That's Taylor. Now Ronaldo Vieira, whose twin is called Romario. I kid you not, Doc. Out the right there, can he get a good cross and now he's bringing it in field? There's Coyle. Oh, Ben Gladwin missed the turn that he's walking kick. inside rope Ben Gladwin. I think the referee knows who he is and he knows it exactly. But ben Should Gladwin is on a yellow card already. And he's taking his time, the referee, but I would dare to suggest that that is a yellow card offence. Oh, and he's a lucky boy. So Bamba just card. having a word with the referee because you can't afford I mean that's a yellow card it's all yellow day card. long and you, as a referee you, should you shouldn't walking. differentiate should you when whether a player is on a yellow card or not it shouldn't alter the fact a yellow card is a yellow yes. card and he's a yes, very lucky ball. boy that's and if I were Jimmy card. Floyd Hasselbank I would seriously consider taking him off now and it's a couple of challenges he's made since he picked up his yellow card Ben Gladwin which could easily have Turn that yellow into red. Ben Gladwin, very lucky to still be on the pitch. It's a free kick now for Matt Grimes again with eyes on this, likewise Chris Wood. Chris Wood's the score. It's a knockdown for Bartley, the uninvited guest in that Queen's Park Rangers wall. And speaking of the, uh, the cold shoulder at the moment from the Queen's Park Rangers players, the referee having a word with him. He's towering over Shadipo. Here comes the free kick. It's Chris Wood, it strikes that wall. Cherry with the clearance. Woods. Nothing at all from that free kick. Luongo trying to get the batter. QPR the better of the year. Wood snaps in. Here is Ronaldo Vieira. Dallas. Now Diago Raga. This is Coyle, brought forward by the 3,000 travelling Leeds United fans. Bamba. This is Taylor being pursued by Gladwin. I would imagine Gladwin will be pretty reluctant to make a challenge at the moment. That's a firm challenge made by Diago Raga. It's Coyle, the flex. Yeah, yeah, good spell. United. 
playing towards those passionate Leeds United fans who will do everything in their power to encourage a goal out there to him. You can see in the second half, in terms of possession anyway, slightly different story to the first half, but really I would say Alex Smith is in the Queen's Park Rangers goal is still yet to be tested. Well, Leeds will be hoping that will change now. Stuart Dallas with this set piece. Once he moves uh, the laptop out of his way. Sol Bamba rising. Grimes will try and get to it. And there it does for Queen's Park Rangers. Polter is fouled by Sol Bamba. That, again, I just I don't understand the player that has got an opposition player in his own corner that would lay a finger on that player. And there's the substitution we we spoke about very very sensible from Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank yeah it's the end of the game for Ben Gladwin who had tested the referee's patience a couple of times and on in his place for his debut comes Jordan Cousins who is signed from Charlton Athletic in the summer a South Londoner welcomed to West London Jordan Cousins Jordan Cousins signed. Gladwin looks like he was just getting the explanation there from the uh, the manager and coaching staff as to why that change has been oh, made, if he needed it. He, he shouldn't need it. Shouldn't need it. We spoke about his decision making actually before. That was oh, made a couple of got, challenges that were poor decisions on his day. part. But he's still young and he's still learning. Just signed for over a million pounds. Chris Wood trying to hold off Hall. Leeds. Diago Raga playing a lot better in this second half. We've got to say. Leeds United have come to the party in the second half. Just got to be mindful. It's really for the first time in the game. They're having a little bit of territory as well as possession. Just got to be mindful of that Queen's Park Rangers counter attack. They've already displayed it once or twice. The Grimes now drawing the attention of the referee with that challenge. There, real massive contact is that and then you've got to ask yourself if that's a yellow card Gladwin's challenge was much worse than that also trying to get in front of the Agaraga Despite his best efforts, really call and able to keep the ball in play. A chance for Queen's Park Rangers to test Leeds United from another set piece. It's a corner for Leeds. Manua, Polter, Coker. All waiting. Grant Hall trying to lose Diago Raga in the penalty area too. Bidwell trying to get his head on it. Nothing but they can put the ball straight back in. And Sherry again, and Green deals with it well at the near post. Much better for him. This is Kamar Roof. Now Carl Henry, hunted down by Stuart Dallas, finds his keeper. Carl Henry plays it Good experience play from Carl Henry. Oh, Ooh, look around as that ball was in the air and bouncing. Had a look around. Yeah. Knew that he could go back to his goalkeeper. Kamar Roof has got the better of Neda Manua. Dallas and Grimes to his right, and that's it. Oh, Kamar Roof. Oh, seen off this time. Excellent it's defending. Not really done anything wrong there, Kamar Roof. He's won the ball back, he's driven, and this is the first time we've seen him have the opportunity oh, to run, run. But Grant Hall yeah, on the cover. Excellent defending. I think he should have really played the ball back. Cost around about three million pounds in the summer, Kamal Roof. A really exciting signing by Leeds United. Looking to make his mark on this game, but he's caught offside. It's a slightly different feel to the second half, though, isn't it? I say Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank seen his team throw countless points away last season. 
Emery Monk, Leeds United's coach. He wasn't there, but Leeds United have won countless points in positions where they were behind last season. So this game far from over. They're about to bring on another striker here in Marcus Antonsen. <laughs> Number 10 now. Yeah. From Kalmar in the summer. Leeds United coming on. Chris Wood, placed by two Queen's Park Rangers defenders, it clips off the head of Ned and Manure. That's Cousins. Cousins has got plenty of energy and drive about him and he's trying to block Charlie Taylor in here. And you can hear appreciation of the home supporters about that piece of work. So it's the end of the afternoon for Matt Grimes and on comes Marcus Antonsen who can play as a, a leading striker or just behind the front man. The one thing we know about this fellow is he's got a goal in him. That is precisely what Leeds need right now more than anything. 13 goals and 18 games for Kalmar this season. Marcus Antonsen who's only had a little bit of a break since signing. to run in behind he looks like it's pretty much at the moment up top of Chris Wood yeah. Gary Monk needed to get somebody a little closer to Chris Wood a little bit isolated for large spells this afternoon This is Bartley. Not sure what at the moment they're passing the ball around. Hits it on. Now Coyle. And he just plays it back. Tumani Diagaraga scooped forward looking for Chris Wood. Man. Woods has got it. And Woods wins a corner for Woods. Good run into the corner. Held the ball up well. He won his team. The corner. ahead in the corner count but behind in terms of the scoreline right now Leeds United Stuart Dallas standing right on the toes of Smithies so where's the corner for Leeds United Bamba trying to creep away from Polter corner comes in oh, it's in and Smithies a really good handling nice. on the pressure nice. yeah, superb nice. goalkeeping it wasn't an easy catch but made it, it look easy, easy had catch. much to do Concentration. He gets his arms ball was fizzing at the pace. No but his old goalkeeping coach at Huddersfield Town, John Vaughan, reckons that Alex Smithies, but for a, a serious injury picked up, would be in the England squad now. There's Sherry. Took a nick. All over Queen's Park Rangers. Dangerous. Allowing that man in on his left foot. Hammer of a left foot. Just the one decisive moment so far. Came early in the game. Sol Bamba own goal. And it has been given as a Bamba own goal. Jerry's corner kick. Manua tried to get to it. Leeds United have held on for now. It's Kamar Roof. Tackled and tackled well by Massimo Luongo. No counter Really good work. Got to be switched on when your team are taking a corner. If the opposition do get the ball and break, you can be vulnerable. Struggling to go forward. Just have a free roll of Swindon, Massimo Luongo. Wasn't asked to defend too much, and therefore people thought he couldn't defend. He's just shown that he's equal and up to it. 
in the lead. A swinging ball out on the left. He's kept it in. Charlie Taylor's yeah, been left in a heap. QPL won the ball back. Charles this is Cousins. The ball forward. Taylor's back on his feet now. Queen's Park Rangers moving up the gears. Shadipo. Good ball. Oh, we lost Seems control, much of him but he's still got it. In the second half as we did in the first so far. Can they get the ball in? Coyle. Again. Smashing him oh. with a challenge. He's done well it's since coming on, Louis Coyle. He's done well. I might say that may be one of the reasons that we haven't seen as much of Shadipo. Loose from Ooh, Charlie Taylor. Dodgy from Leeds in defence. There's Sherry. Not playing well there in their own half, giving the ball away cheaply. Now Cousins, used to see, bursting forward from midfield for Charlton Athletic. May have to play a bit more of a, a disciplined role in his time at Queen's Park Rangers. El Kayati being prepared. Anton Sim will catch up with this. Well, yeah, Kolka's caught up with him. Johnny Taylor. Johnny Taylor wins a corner. The corner count is racking up both ends, but other than the goal, neither have been able to make not in the best of games. So the far. others count. The second half being a bit, bit dire. He took like charge of his six-shot area best. a few moments ago, Alex Smithies from a corner kick. Maybe it's tested again here, it's Kamar Roof, moves the ball on looking for Dallas. Ross commits the foul. Disappointing for the corner where send all the lads and up from the, the back, down 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 don't get the ball in. Wasted opportunity. That's a El Kayati comes on the Queen's Park Rangers and he will replace the debut in Solomon Shalifa. He shot it really well in the first half and caused Leeds United problems. A little quieter in the second. But now the change is made. I'd be pleased, particularly with his first half. I'm certainly pleased with him. So is Jimmy. Welcome El Kayati, who Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank brought here with him from Burton Albion. As a season progresses, we'll call him Nessa. Do not know how to play. going over the top of Polter. I think Leeds have won a free kick. Bamba saying he was fouled. Well, Sebastian Polter may be in need of uh, a little bit of attention here. about this man is he doesn't stop running he's key in defending from the front for Queen's Park Rangers Jimmy Ford has a bank wants him to be as you mentioned in the first half Don a little bit more ruthless a bit more selfish inside the, the box could this be the second goal that will probably win the game for QPR on the left swings the free kick in Conker in a scrap, scrap. Oh, a bit scrappy in charge for Leeds United it's a good ball from QPR. Can get a good ball lead? Can this be so? no. Jerry might. Jerry Green gets down no. to it. Okay, having to be sharp on his near post, Rob Green. And it's an yeah, that's an okay, that's it. the opportunity yeah. to set a teammate up. Took the wrong option for me. Queen's Park Rangers got lucky and got another opportunity. So that was okay, flat ball again. Luongo, heavy touch. Guraga oh, with the robust challenge. That's Bartley. This is Kolka. Oh, that's a bit of a, what the ball, but... El Kayati. 
keep your control here. Whatever he was thinking, it worked back. out for him. It did work out for him. Chance for Cupid in the ball forward. Cherry involved There's again, that's Coyle flowing. tidying up once more for Leeds United. Kicks it a bit down the pitch. Involved heavily, hasn't it? Cherry, another one in the blue and white hoops has had a good afternoon. A lot of pressure on his shoulders. Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank has big expectations of that man. So we're expecting big hoops from Cherry. Cherry trying to give Coyle the slip, but Coyle. Happy, prepared to stand his ground. Ball had stayed in play initially. Hunting the second goal to kill off Leeds United. Kolka, Anua, and Palter with that hastily arranged meeting. And they go QPR with the corner. And the referee having a tour. Referee again laying down the law. Now we're going to see the corner. Charlie with the corner, Anua down inside the box. Polter tried to win the header. There's Neda Manua. Now it's Nasser El Kayati. Greensaw it lays and got down to it. It's well El Kayati more than capable of finishing with that right foot of his. Rob Green came up with the answer. Standing save just kept his team in the game. These far Rangers are not done yet. This is Cousins. He goes down. Penalty to QPR. Now Queen's Park Rangers have their chance to finish this game they off. Do, they should make it 2 0. Well, young Ronaldo Vieira has just shown a little bit of naivety. He's a talented young boy, but you cannot challenge from the wrong side of a player when oh, he's got Vieira his body between you and the there. ball. And Sol Bamba can argue all he likes, but that is a penalty. And the young man walks straight over to the goalpost. Once he'd committed the foul, the, back of him. the penalty had been given and kicked it because he knew he may just have ended his team's Could've opportunities of getting there. something out of so this game. Char and Cherry have scored a late penalty when these two met back in April. It's on the spot again against Rob Green. Cherry! It's a goal to QPR. And Queen's Park Rangers! Who are dreaming of three days this season? Or oh, getting off to the best possible start. QPR. It's ruthless. No goalkeeper in the world. He's going to save that. It's hard, it's low, it's accurate, it's in the corner. And even though Rob Green yeah, knows which way it's going, kick. can't get anywhere near that. And you would imagine, given the way this game has panned out, that should be the three points for Queen's Park Rangers. And you can't really say that they haven't deserved it. The nerves, then the celebration, and Queen's Park Rangers have doubled their advantage. Is there so any way back now for Leeds United? Ronaldo Vieira, Carl Bartley having a word with the 18-year-old. Showing his experience, Kyle Bartley, and trying to pick up Ronaldo Vieira, who made that challenge on Cousins, which was punished by that man there. Yeah, and he, I said just a few moments before that, he has been excellent all afternoon. And opens his well deserved spot. goal, and he, you would imagine, will be a key player for Queen's Park Rangers this season if they're going to have any kind of success. Those scores are usually key players. And that was the worry for Leeds last season is that they only scored 50 goals. There were only six clubs that scored fewer goals than Leeds United, and that at the moment doesn't look as if it's been. A problem that's been solved. Haven't really tested Leeds Alex Smithies in the Queen's Park Rangers goal. goal. Well, on Leeds United last season, the problems were no punch in attack and mistakes at the back, yeah. and that is what we've seen here today. And that is a lethal no, combination, isn't no it? Shots at targets, not good enough well, it's the first game of the season, and he will have learned a lot this afternoon about what needs to happen going forward. 
but it is early doors. Well, goes, Kamar Roof and on comes Hadi Sacco. The new signing of Roof comes off and on French striker Sacco. who is being signed on low from Sporting Lisbon. Has a 60 million euro release clause at Sporting. Say a I know the spending in the championship has gone a little mad uh, <laughs> this summer, but I don't think That's anyone will be spending that right now. Can QPR get another goal before the game's over? Or can Leeds at least pull one back? Scorelines, can't it? 2 0. With the clock ticking, if Leeds United can get a goal out of nowhere, really, then it might put Queen's Park Rangers under a little bit of pressure. But at the moment, home team are looking very comfortable and very good value. Try and get a cross in the box. Charlie Taylor committing the foul. Oh, you just best. wonder what the future holds for Charlie That's Taylor. Massimo Cellino determined that they will not lose him in this transfer window. Those Leeds fans hoping that they will hold on to another of their youth prospects, having seen Lewis Cook leave, Sam Barham leave, Alex Mowat on the bench here today. Yeah. Well, they've brought the talent through, there is no question. They've got good money for a couple of those players already. But you can't build success if you, if you sell all your best players. Sharon Cherry, that's Bartley. There's Vieira. Oh, Sacco. It's playing some dangerous football there on the edge of their box, but they've got it forward. I don't think they're going to get any further. Paul. Oh, QPR. Well, are they going to bring it forward? We've got a lot of eyes on Leeds United because it's Gary Monk's first game as head coach, because obviously of what's gone on with managers under Massimo Cellino. But what have you made of what Queen's Park Rangers have done here? Well, we're only going to find out as the season unravels, aren't we? Are Queen's Park Rangers going to be a, a threat at the top end of the season? Either way, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, he can't get carried away with this result. It's the first game of the season. And by the same token, if you're Gary Monk, you can't get too deflated by what you've seen. I mean, Newcastle, the massive, massive favourites to win this league and get promoted, lost the first game. So it's not the end of the world, but you have to learn and you have to improve from a performance like this, Leeds have not been anywhere near the standard required to challenge in the top half. Keep killing the attack. Cousins, there's Cherry. Good ball played out. Cherry plays the ball in. Tiago Raga with the intervention for Leeds United. Out. And Leeds cleared out the field for good ball. They can not find Leeds now. They do have some young, gifted, exciting players here, Queen's Park Rangers. The likes of Cousins being brought in. Cherry, of course, oh, Massimo Luongo here. Players which will get the fans Ooh. off their seats here at Loftus Road, should it all go to plan this season. Well, I already pointed out, didn't I, really? Although, although that they've had to downsize with the recruitment and the prices that they pay for players and the wages that they pay players, there's still plenty of money oh, out there, over £20 million pounds worth in the Queen's Park Rangers ranks, what they've spent on bringing players to this club, so... There will be some expectations from Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, that is for sure. That's Wood. And he can't see for Leeds. No, it's gone back to Smithy. for the last 12 minutes, maybe Leeds United just go for it, throw all your attacking players up. Luongo. That's Cousins. Just a good challenge. Now Sacco. 
Here goes Sacco now for Leeds down the do. right. Antonsen and Wood to his left, and he's rolled Ooh, up perfectly towards Antonsen. This be a... Just nicked off his Ooh. wrong foot in the end, but he'll win the corner. Yeah, he's won a corner. Sacco does well here. Burst forward and picks a really good pass, and you'll see Antonsen standing foot just knocks the ball. He gets a consolation of a, a corner. A corner now for Leeds United. Can they make this count? Good delivery is necessary. Not knows. really tested the QPR here. goalkeeper Smithy. Everything. There you go. Oh, it's not a bad delivery. He came through the crowd and took charge. Oh, it's hit so many players. Nothing for Leeds. This is Carl Henry trying to hold off Antonsen. And Cole Henry Again, wins a throw in for QPR. Very, very quietly effective Cole Henry is a man who's wealth of experience at this level, already promoted with Wolverhampton Wanderers and Queen's Park Rangers, so he knows what it takes. And he's not one to big himself up, he says, my game is very simple, I don't score, I don't create, I just try and tackle. A proper workhorse for QPR Every is Cole Henry. One. Did score on the last day of last season, Cole Henry. There you go, Lee, swinging ball Coyle, in. To the punch oh, by nothing again, and QPL hook it away. It's on here between Bamba and Poulter. Rob Green, the cool head. And Green's got the ball. Bit of nerves there. He dealt no, with it. Efficient. Oh, the chance here. for Lee. They should it's score. Oh, he's put it wide. He knows he should have scored. Oh, that was the moment. Was the big chance and the first thing Jimmy Floyd Anderson should have scored for Leeds he was through on goal Defense there there they go missing don't they there's a chasm yeah between the defenders uh, ball comes through Antonson. he's through on Antonson goal on side, how has he really not scored he's gonna maybe take it round Alex Smithies Anderson that's a poor shot, miss it horribly wide and the Leeds know. fans can't believe they've not pulled the goal the back end, there in terms of this game this afternoon big chance very big chance and a very well, big a miss indeed for Leeds to make Sweden it 2-1. And he scored 13 in 18 games, but blew his big chance on his Leeds United debut there. He sure did. So Best good. chance for Leeds. This is Luongo. Luongo kicks it upfield. Don't think he's going to get to that. That will be played back to Rob Green. And Rob Gree fluffs his lines again and gives away a very cheap throw in. More Championship football to come. Aston Villa make their bow in this division again. Sheffield Wednesday against Aston Villa. I think there'll be an absolute PM, superb game at Hillsborough. And coming next, Celtic begin their defence of the title at Hearts. Always a game to remember. Celtic Sky are the Sports Scottish one. Premier League Sports champions. Five. What a surprise. <laughs> of course, it'll be the As old this, firm derby back on in play. the Premiership up in Scotland. Top from the off. Thanks to an own goal from Sol Bamba and Sharon Cherry for the penalty spot. They have the points in the palm of their hand right now. Eight minutes to go. And it's QPR with the ball. QPR play all the way back to Smithy, but he'll boot it upfield. And Green should get hold of that. So it's goalkeeper to goalkeeper. And Green bangs it upfield. That's all. And it's hoofed upfield once again. This is a chance. No, he's offside. Still running though, isn't he? Sebastian Poulter, 83 minutes on the clock. It's been all action. I say Poulter's got a lot of here. energy. He hasn't, a handful. he hasn't managed to score. Did hit the woodwork. He's worked hard for QPR. And, and that's what Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank wants from him. Lee United looking for a Taylor. consolation goal in this game. Coyle Bartley 
all the way out on the other side, and he's offside. Oh, it shouldn't be when you're the widest player, it should never be caught. Looking oh, Taylor was across the line. He's just, is he? Well, no, he's not offside, really. And I think the assistant referee is a yard ahead of the play, and he gets that wrong. Ooh. That's poor, that's poor from the linesman. Too white. Taylor wasn't offside. Well, after this, Leeds United have a, a League Cup tie Fleetwood to come, then a home game against Birmingham City. This is Cherry. Uh, it comes to nothing green. straight at Green from Cherry. Oh, look at the pressure that Queen's Park Rangers are putting Leeds under, and they've oh, done shoot. it from the word go. And Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank is going to be absolutely thrilled Free with every aspect of this game. QPR. They've looked solid defensively. In their own it's a back half. four as a unit. Lads in front of that have looked solid. And then they've been creative going forward. If QPR push a few players up, just put the ball straight well, in the box. They're too near luck. Like there's a depth to this Queen's Park Rangers squad. So the signs are good, but it's very, very early days and nobody should be getting too carried away. Carl Henry <laughs> buying a little bit of extra time there so he adjusted his laces. Balls put straight in. Will this be Polter. anything? No, it'll just go out for a goal kick. You mentioned the, the work rate of Queen's Park Rangers. Jimmy Floyd has about to bring in uh, a couple of new fitness coaches. One for Burton Albion over the summer. He wants his team to be in absolute tip top condition to execute his game plan of playing the high press, knowing when to go, knowing when to press, knowing when not to. And putting the miles in for this club and that shirt. Absolutely. James Perch will be with us shortly. So Leeds going to bring it forward, do something. Oh, it's a long ball. Sacco's oh, made the run from this... out to him, but despite a nice finish, Leeds United score, but there was a whistle. Yeah, just misjudged the bounce. Bit of an emphatic finish, but makes a good run. He's looked lively since he's come on, so but he really misjudges the bounce there. Good one. Pops up onto his arm. Well, there's a sign that Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank is taking no chances. To a lead into the closing stages, and the creative talent that is Tyrone Cherry leaves the pitch, and on in his place comes James Perch. Tyrone Cherry had a, yeah, had a really good game you. for Leeds, so. and on comes James Perch. Been excellent. Made a lot of things happen this afternoon in a positive sense for Queens Park Rangers. The job almost done, and James Perch on to see this out. Just on the three minutes left. Mentioned Leeds next championship game is Birmingham at home for the Queen's Park Rangers. They travel to Cardiff City. Both, of course, met each other yesterday, and Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank and Gary Monk were sat alongside each other watching that game yesterday. Well, the interesting thing about that is that Leeds United's home form last season was terrible, wasn't it? They are going to have to turn Ellen Road into a fortress if they want That's any success. That's true, so it that wasn't good last season. Poor Leeds home United. performance from and, and Queen's Park Rangers Leeds away form, that was a big reason that they were mid-table. They only won four away games all season, that is something that they're going to sort, have to sort out. It's Coyle, who's been a plus for Leeds United since coming on. Well, oh, Coles had a really decent game for Leeds. And frustration for the 20 year old there. And he's played well since his first half introduction. Well, oh, there's a foul on him there, and he grabs the ball. He's waiting for the whistle to go, and well, it touches his arm. Eesh. Doesn't necessarily yeah, grab it. The Monk is free kick there. confused, isn't he? I'm a little confused. There is a and, foul there. And, and Monk thinks the same. It's not your day.
There's a chance for QPR. Walter still looking to put himself around Bartley, dealing with it for Leeds United. Bartley gives a corner away. Well, struggled last season for good, goals, didn't good, they? Leeds? Good. Just to highlight what stands between First them. First pace there from Holt win the corner. Seven shots on target for QPR. Target. Two scored. Gary one unknown goal on and an one from the penalty spot. Defeat and he knew exactly where he needed to start the rebuilding process. Well, Could this be three 0 to QPR? To the edge. So this team get the ball right in there. It comes. No, they've played it short. Don't know why. They're not defending one nil. It's two nil. It's Four ball, minutes of injury it. time. Loftus Road preparing to celebrate on opening weekend. It's, like it's going to be an opening day victory for Lee, for QPR. Don't know where they got four minutes of injury time for. It's not often Leeds United lose a game in the opening weekend. They've lost just three of the last 26, but this will be four. Has been a day when they haven't come out swinging like Gary Monk was expecting. Day well, it's early days for Leeds. To do they to could get better as the season back progresses. To where it belongs. Well, this time last season, Queens Park Rangers were losing on the opening day to Charlton, and ultimately went down. So, vast improvement. In Leeds, as I recall, we were. Well, you trying to was that Jinx QPR? Burnley, you win your first game of the season, one, and end up getting well, relegated. I don't think QPR Leeds League, will be in a relegation battle this season. I think for Leeds and QPR, the goal this season is to finish better nice than mid table. Hadi Sacco unable to deliver the ball towards Bartley. There was a big, strong appeal there for handball against Luongo. Emphatically waved, waved away by the referee. Yeah, he's been lively, Sacco, since he's come on, he's played. Yeah, Looks Sacco, like not a bad substitution. on and beat them and make things happen. Can they get the ball in now, Leeds? Charlie Taylor's cross. nearly there. Anton oh, just played over. The ball comes back Coyle. in. Dallas Leeds head it on. Need to find somebody. Just put it back in. All out attack now, Leeds. This is Taylor once more. You know. Vieira. Just, just getting a goal back would do wonders for with these Coyle confidence. The Coyle has got the better of Perch. Three and he goes in Cole. Yellow. Is this the... the no. Just bang it in there. Oh, he's put it over. Nice second opportunity. Marcus Antonsen. Coyle does really well again, doesn't he? It's a bit more of a difficult opportunity. Leeds United. It's the ball into a, a dangerous area. Oh, I think he went for First goal there. Gives him the chance of the strike. Difficult. He wasn't able to keep the shot down. For Antonsen. Did he try playing it, it across? And just earlier, his Over Sacco, a deflection or lively, something. Direct, pacey. That was good play from Leeds. Tricky. Tries to pick out Kyle Bartley. Picks out Luongo, and it doesn't look like it hits the arm to me. Leads for one last push to get, out, get, get something out of this game. No. Well, if you Keep leave your win a free kick. This season, Massimo Cellino has promised to soften the blow by refunding season ticket holders 25% of the money they paid. Sold 15,000 season tickets to Ellen Road, the highest in over a decade. There's still plenty of optimism, of course. That won't disappear on opening day. But Massimo Cellino prepared to refund the fans if they don't make the top six. <laughs> That's very generous of him. This is Polta. And QPR make it 3 0. Polter with his first goal of the season. Well, I did say when Sherry the icing on the cake for Queen's Park Rangers. Been an absolute handful. It's just too strong. Louis Coyle left Good the play there from Poland. Not a bad goal. Upon that indecision, Polter. 
and this that's a rotten game set and match for QPR that. it's an absolute thunderbolt of a strike the angles against him but the pace is all there takes it past Rob Green good goal very, indeed very well deserved goal he's been excellent not but sure on the celebration the perfect end to the perfect day for Queensborough Rangers and Sebastian Polter. That should be game done. over. He does get his reward. Final whistle. And that's the end of the match. Victory to QPR on the opening day of the season.